Hey friends, so remember last week when I showed you a picture of that vegetable stir fry? Well, we're having it tonight. I have the water here getting ready for a boil. Water here to boil some of the veggies. Potatoes in. And gonna cut some bell peppers. Some carrots. Snow peas, and baby cut corn. Okay, so we have some sliced potato and some snow peas boiling. Okay, friends, so you're going to have to take out the big wok or a big skillet. Oil or more. Mm -hmm. A little more oil. Red dry chili. Those slices are ginger. Yeah. We have some sliced onion and some sliced ginger. Okay, now it's looking nice and toasty. You yeah. want the onions to cook. Nicely cooked. Yeah, nicely cooked the and, uh, salt. It looks like a big mountain of salt, but it was actually vegetables. vegetables will soak that up. In the meantime, we have the pasta cooking. Pasta parmesan. Spoonful of garlic, chopped garlic. Okay, next goes in Kashmiri. chili powder. Kashmiri, Kashmiri not chili powder. Kashmiri powder. It only gives you color, not spice. Gives? Yeah, you heard. See the color now? Oh, yeah, look at the color change. Kashmiri chili. See that? Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Can you smell? I wish everybody can smell it. Oh yeah, it smells good. Next, bell peppers. Baby cut corn. And the boiled potato and the snow peas and some shredded corn. Nicely stir. Mm -hmm. Make sure all that spice and onion and garlic spread all the vegetables. Yep. And then just let it fry for a while. Try to give it a nice even coating. Yeah. And if it gets dry, 
You can just use a little pasta water. Perfect. Looks good already. Okay, friends, so here's where we start adding the uh, seasonings. Gonna add some soy sauce. And some sesame seed oil is the key. I'd say sesame seed oil is the main key ingredient in making it taste Asian. Give it a nice stir. Looks good. Wow, smells good too. So the heat is lowered to about medium at this point. Next, we're going to add some sriracha. The burn smell a little bit, that's when the taste comes. Now it's got to fry some things. Here's the transfer. Transfer the noodles over. You want to use your judgment on how much noodles you need com compared to the amount of vegetables you have. There it is. Simple, easy, and quick to put together. Didn't take a lot of ingredients or a lot of time. One thing is we forgot to add our greens. Greens is important. And uh, we're gonna add some cilantro to this too. Bay leaf is the best. And if you have bay leaf or basil? Basil, sorry. If you have some fresh basil, basil too. Okay, so we decided, or he decided to add some tofu. So we have the uh, plate to once we removed all the pasta. Stir fry from the wok, and we have some onion and oil. And we're getting it ready for the tofu. Okay, so these onions have salt. A little sprinkle of salt. We're gonna add some garlic. Some garlic, chopped garlic. And we're going to add a 
a whole tomato. And some cashmere chili for the color. And just go a little spice in it. And for some spice. And we're adding tofu. You can add chicken or beef, whatever you choose. But today he decided to use tofu, firm tofu. Or shrimp, whatever you're choosing. Shrimp would be best, or steak. The cook says shrimp or Steak would be best. <laughs> but today he wanted to try with tofu. Wow, see how that tofu really picks up the, the color? And most likely it picked up the flavoring too, since it's bland. Why don't you show them how you do? There we go. Waiting for that chef. Not with this. <laughs> no, this is kind of heavy. Otherwise, he does. He has a nice uh, wrist action as he flips over his food. But being that this is cast iron, it's a little heavy. So once this is up to the cook's uh, liking, he's gonna go ahead and spoon it over the pasta dish we just finished making. This definitely smells good. And there goes a little sriracha, just to kick it up a notch or two. We're getting toasted, nice and toasted. Wow, look at that friends. Doesn't that look delicious? Okay friends, so here it is. What do you say I go ahead and give it a quick taste test for you? And uh, we'll start with a little tofu with some noodles. Hmm. You're going to flip your lid. It's good. Really? Wow, that chili that you did in the end is really good. The chili with the tofu. Oh. You have to try it. Towards the end, make yourself a little bit of, put some oil and some sliced onions and some chili and put in your tofu or your chicken or your mushrooms or your shrimp. Garlic. With garlic. <clears throat> and give it a try. It's really good. Okay, friends. I thank you all for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you plan to make this uh, meal and let me know how you like it. Also, let me know in the comments below if you like to see some more uh, cooking videos uh, made by my husband, his meals. Uh, let me know in the comments. 
Okay, friends, I thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching, friends. Mm, well, you want to come behind me and try it? No. no. <laughs> How you like my cooking? Good? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is it, is it spicy? Yeah, perfect. It's got the right kick. It's not too hot because I don't like spicy food. What do you think? Your creation is good, huh? I can go for a little bit. Extra notch. An extra notch of heat? Oh mm. boy. Wow. That gravy was good. Yeah. Good, huh? All right, friends, you heard it there from the cook. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of these videos by him. All right, friends, thanks for watching.